Okay, uh, we're using um, Ubuntu 10.04. It's a live CD. You can also use Ubuntu 11.04, 12.04. We just happen to find 10.04 here, and we're going to install Ubuntu 10.04 onto an uh, 8 gigabyte USB drive. The first thing we're going to go into here is administration and our disk utility. It's an OSCZ Rally 2 drive, and these are two drives, two partitions on it at the moment. We're going to separate these out. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to unmount them. And we're going to delete that partition. Partition 2. Unmount that. And delete that partition. So we have one partition here now, 8 gigabytes. We're going to call it um, 10.04. Of course, Ubuntu. And we're going to format it as FAT32. I'm going to leave it at 8 gigabytes. I'm going to create that. And there's our 8 gigabyte now, so we can X this off. We can open now and install Ubuntu 10.04.3. This is the latest version of the long term release of Ubuntu 10.04. Very fast, very efficient. All the long term releases are the best ones to use. And go forward. So this is the right time. So we're connected to the internet. And so we're running a live CD. Hopefully, um, record my desktop will work. Should do fine though. Now you can see, look, it has several operation systems on it. So we're going to specify the partitions manually. Click forward to that. And you can see all the partitions here. We're concentrating here on the SDB one. Okay. And we're going to hit delete that first free space we're going to add um, a swap first 1000 megabytes swap partition click OK free space 7 gigabytes we're going to add an extension for file system already selected through a mount point there click OK now we're going to click forward to this um, partition table click forward enter our name and um, password require my password to log in click forward forward again click advanced here now now this is the tricky part. You can see all the different parts. We can have our bootloader on. We want to put our bootloader onto our USB your OZ Rally 2 here. So make sure you select Dev SDB. Don't put your bootloader onto your main hard drive, otherwise you're going to need your USB drive plugged in all the time. So here we are, SDB. And click OK. And just hit the install button then. Not sure how long it will take to install, but it's now installed on your USB drive. And once you have it installed, just restart the computer and make sure you boot from your USB drive. In this case, it was USB HDD. And thanks for watching. Stop this recording. Let's stop now.